Hello clever people and welcome to another Q&A video. Today's question is by Markipedia86. Why don't aircraft use anti-missile missiles to intercept incoming missiles like ships do? Well, good question and it is something that is being debated from time to time on Reddit on in forums. I've seen it discussed many times and uh, yes, it is definitely something worth covering because it's definitely not intuitive. The first thing to consider is that missiles are not an easy target. First, they are fast. I say combat planes operate between map 0.8 to Mach 1.4, 1.5 in real life operational situations. Air to air missiles, well, pretty much all of them can go above Mach 3 and they're much more maneuverable than the plane itself. By the mere fact that they are so fast, they are more difficult to hit. You have to consider that the explosion of an eventually anti-missile missile should be timed perfectly because incoming missile, if it is fast, may actually clear the area uh, of the debris of the explosion uh, before being reached by the debris. So speed is um, defense in itself. You may say that uh, we are talking about the maximum speed of the missiles. For most of their flight path, they actually fly unpropelled, so at slower speed, uh, they actually decelerate along their trajectory, which is true, but a slower to air missile doesn't need uh, an anti-missile missile because can be beaten by maneuver by the pilot. Any competent pilot should be able in principle to avoid it. The second problem is that missiles are difficult to track in general because they're small, they're fast, but they can come from 360 degrees. In general, a plane has a radar just in front. So you need some type of sensor that is capable of covering the 360 degrees with a precision such to be able to provide a fire solution to the anti-missile missile. It's probably possible, but the implication is obviously cost, complexity, weight, and electrical power being absorbed. Let us suppose that we are capable of providing a fire solution to a weapon. Then we have a problem to launch it. See, if you want to intercept missile coming in from the back of the plane, from the six of the plane, you have to launch the weapon backward. And this means that all the initial thrust of the weapon uh, rocket engine or whatever type of engine is going to be used to uh, compensate and neutralize the speed of the launching plane. The missile will get to a point where they will have an indicated airspeed of zero and might start falling from the sky. And anyway, since it's launched backward at the beginning, it may be aerodynamically unstable. Even if it was possible to engineer a weapon that can be launched with this profile, but well, it is definitely, definitely a poor trajectory that requires an enormous amount of energy just to stay in the air. The objection is that do exist missiles, air to air missiles, uh, that can be launched over the shoulder, that is, can do a 180 degrees and attack a target behind the plane. Well, apart from the fact that this is normally done with someone else actually uh, providing the fire solution and targeting and tracking the plane, but even if we don't need it, uh, it is uh, this kind of trajectory again is a trajectory that burns a lot of energy. It is very, very energy inefficient. 
so the target must be quite close. Now, we have said that a system like this is necessary only if missile is flying fast. So it has been launched from relatively short distance. So the flight time will be short as well, while to launch over the shoulder and do the 180 degrees, it takes some time. And it may not be enough to have a proper uh, interception path for the incoming missile. As you can see, everything is very complex. There are quite a lot of problems to be addressed. Not last, the fact that the reaction time must be very quick. And uh, so probably a system like this could work only if it was automated. And this creates the same problems that have tanks with active uh, defensive systems. A system like this must be bulletproof in terms of avoiding any friendly fire, which is still probably achievable, even more difficulties, even more complexities, and so on. So, even if we manage to overcome all these technical problems that we have explained, uh, there is still a problem in the sense that the anti-missile missile is probably going to be very similar, if not the same, as a short-range air-to-air weapon. So we are basically countering a weapon with exactly the same weapon. The defense is the same as the offense. Is it worth it? But you will have something which is essentially the same, built by the same companies with the similar technologies that may well detract from the modern, very limited capability of producing complex weapons. So the balance between the result that we, ob we obtain, the effectiveness in combat per uh, dollar or pound or euro spent can be probably questionable and yeah this needs to be worked out with some detailed calculations that are definitely beyond the scope of what i'm doing today the other problem is it is often said that okay maybe a system like this is not adequate it doesn't really make sense on a fighter but some high value assets like OWAX or um, electronic surveillance planes may profit from maybe from something like this and could become much more hardened and could be in safer uh, yes um, but well you still have the problems of the added weight and complexity and everything but even if you decide that it is okay to, for example, reduce the fuel to have this kind of defensive system, can you build enough missiles to defend the plane? I mean, a high value asset will probably be the target of a lot of very long range weapons. You may expect to spend at least a couple of rounds for every incoming weapon. How many weapons do you have to have on board? Probably quite a lot. And can you afford to build that many? So, as you can see, uh, what in at surface level seems a reasonable idea, it actually tend to be rather impractical for fighters. Uh, tend to be probably not appropriate for larger planes, for high value assets. So at the end of the day, nobody has done this yet. Would it be doable? I believe so. But still, the fact that we could do something doesn't mean that we should. So I hope this answers the question. Okay, if you like this video, I am sure you will find it interesting also the videos that are going to appear on the screen right now. In the meanwhile, please like, dislike, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. And if you could, could 
support the channel on Subscribestar or Patreon, that would be amazing. The meanwhile, thank you very, very much for watching. Stay safe always and see you next time.